Hey guys, welcome to the 126th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the path gradient brush. So, for this tutorial, you're going to need to have a panel, and then the user clicks on that panel. And this have graphics be created for your panel so we have some surface to draw on. So, the first thing that we're going to want to do is create a new instance of the path gradient brush. So, let's go up here and create a new path gradient brush. I'll call it PGB instead of equal to a new path gradient brush. And in order to create a, um, a path gradient brush, it calls for a graphics path. And we're just going to have to create a new graphics path up here. So we we'll say graphics path, GP for graphics path, is a new graphics path. And the graphics path will basically hold all the information telling the path gradient brush what to do or where to draw. So we're going to have. Um, the gradient start at a center point and then move out and as it moves out it will change into a different color. So what we're going to have to do here is create a circle for our graphics path or for our path gradient brush to follow. So instead of our graphics path right here we're just going to say gp dot add ellipse and we're just going to um, now tell it where the circle will be. So we're just going to be at 20, 20 and then the width will be 50 and then the height will be 50 as well so it'll be a circle. Alright, so now that we have our graphics path created, we can just pass that graphics path that we created through the path gradient or the path gradient brushes constructor to create a new path gradient brush. So GP right here. Now we have our path gradient brush created. So currently on um, the path gradient brush will start at a center point in a circle and slowly move out and turn into a different color. So we haven't chosen those colors yet. So what we're gonna have to do is set the center color um, property for the uh, path gradient brush. So we're just going to do pgp dot um, center color and I'm going to have it start out with red. So I'm going to do color dot red. Alright, so now that we have our center color created, we now have to tell it um, what color we want it to turn into or colors. We're only going to have it turn into one color though. So we're going to do pgp dot um, surround colors and this has to be set equal to a color array. So we're just going to create a new color array right here. And like I said, we're only going to have it turn into one color. We're going to have it turn into yellow, but you can obviously use any color you want. So right now it's just going to start at the center of the circle right here, indicated by this. So this is where the circle will be located. It will start at the center of that circle and then slowly move out. And as it moves out, it will turn into yellow. So now we just have to draw a circle using this brush so we can actually see it. So we're just going to do g dot fill ellipse, fill ellipse, and we're just going to have it be in the same location as where our brush is so that we can see it. So we're just going to use our brush to paint it. So we're just going to say PGB, and then we have to indicate where we want it to draw this ellipse. So we're just going to say 20, 20, 50, 50, just like uh, up here so that we can actually see our green. So now we need to debug here and click on the panel. We should see that there's a circle created. At the center of the circle it's red and it slowly turns into yellow as it moves out. Yep, perfect. And you can obviously change these into any colors you want. So if you wanted it to start with like, I don't know, white and turn into like black or something, you could do that as well. So now when we click, you can see it's different. Yep, slowly. Turns it to black. And you can obviously make this bigger if you wanted. So if you want to make this be like 100 and 100, and then make the ellipse that we draw be 100 as well. Do that. Yep, this is a much bigger circle. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on drawing with a path gradient brush. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw other shapes. So, see you guys.